Okay. Let's go take care of Duplica now. So we have a map of the Grand Palace. I'm fairly certain you don't get this. I'll have to double check if you don't have Stilton. Um, but yeah, let's see. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. Okay, interesting note, um, Lady Brisby, the mention of her? Lord Brisby is actually the man you meet in, um, the first game in Lady Boyle's Last Party. He is the creepy guy in the horrible mask who is responsible for the low chaos elimination of Lady Boyle, which is her abduction, and, um, he basically keeps her uh, non-consensually as, like, a sex slave. It's not, it's not great. It's actually incredibly disturbing. Let's see what everyone else has to say. But the fact that, the fact that I still have a working, Emily still has a working relationship with that family is telling, I guess, of sort of the, well, that's a really pretty view. We're just standing there. Um, of the, I feel like that tells even more than the heavy-handed, oh, you know, you're a, Noble is like the rest of them. The criticism of Emily as a ruler who doesn't really, or hasn't so far really engaged with what's going on in her empire. She's still working with people like Luca, Bell, and Brisby before this, says a lot. I hope I've been of some help to you. You have. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Look at you. In a lifetime, how many monarchs have done half of what you have in a month? I hear the Duke's wine cellar is exquisite, if you happen to pass through. I haven't even noticed a... Well, actually, maybe that thing was a wine cellar. I remember telling piece. you stories at the Hound Pits pub so long ago. How oh, you've changed. Okay, that's also a lot of it's not widely known, but the Duke has a body double. The man is the spitting image of Luca. A likable fellow, and quite humble. I've no idea where they found him, but the Duke's double has spent years passing for the Duke. I suppose Luca always hoped his double would be there to take an assassin bullet. Take care. I okay. hope to see you again. He's a good guy. Um, so, you find that out, you don't have to worry if you didn't save Stilton. Um, you do find that out regardless, Megan will tell you that anyway, but the fact that oh. he's telling us is... I think he's giving us like the, huh? Someone's gonna attack me. I'm alerting someone away, so... No, 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 don't go down there. Um, Megan will tell you regardless that... So, now you have an inkling... Oh! Well... That was beautiful. Um, an inkling of what the non-lethal there it goes again solution might be for this mission. Oh, so we're gonna go we'll watch it for a second. There it goes. I've never noticed whales out here before. 
But, um... So, the body double will have something to do with our little chaos solution to this mission. Should we head toward the palace? Alright. Ready. My totally ineffectual mask. Yeah, both of them have terribly effective disguises because Corvo's is well known and Emily's just doesn't really do anything for her face. Yes, so. Um, the Duke protects himself with a body gobble. They are not always in the same place. I made that mistake of assuming that they were because the first five times I played the game they were always in the exact same locations. But on the sixth, they'd moved. So there are, I think there are five locations. The two of them can be independent of the other. And uh, you do actually have to discern which one is which. It's not going to be the same for you. I think they patched that out or something because that was hilarious. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body devil meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. It does. Maybe you can talk to him. She says well, he's a nice guy. He is. What a shitty job pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. The mention of the flooded district is meant to be another heavy hint that it is, in fact, Billy. Um, it's interesting that nobody, except maybe Sokolov, she doesn't really comment on surprise if you take low chaos options, whether that's just a, they didn't include that this time, or, you know, if it's a character decision. So she's gone used to seeing Dowd turn towards away or turn away from killing towards mercy in a sense. And she's sort of had to grapple with that too, so I think she just doesn't question it. Or it's unintentional, but I like that better. Sorry if I sound bitter. Don't turn your back on the Duke. After we leave Karnaka, there are some things we need to talk about. Things I feel remorse over. I know not everyone who lives in a great palace is a snake. But it's real easy to get accustomed to eating off silver plates. If you figure out which one is the Duke's double, you might want to see what he knows. You wouldn't believe it. But I could have ended the Duke a long, long time ago. Wish I had now. If something happens and you don't make it back, I might have a go at Duke Abel. <laughs> When this is done, we leave Karnaka at once. I won't be sorry to leave this city. I've done all I can here. I've earned what I've got. Even the scars. Especially the scars. Take care of yourself. We'll be there when you're ready. Aww. Okay, so... We have to get up to the palace first, but there are, once we get there, three entrances in. I prefer... I mean, the front door is not the one I prefer, if you couldn't already guess that. Um, this area just has some fish scales. Also, we really need to allocate our runes. Did we put any points in... We haven't put any points in Mesmerize yet? Okay, well, we'll upgrade Shadow, because we're going to want that. We did... We haven't even used Domino that really. Mmm, Mesmerize. The problem is, it just doesn't, not, most of Emily's powers can't affect the stupid clockwork soldiers, whereas Corvo's do, and I feel like that's, okay, 
will be faster, and then we'll spend. I don't know. If, oh yeah, we can upgrade her. Our... Okay, we'll use a little bit of mesmerize, maybe. Possibly. The thing about this level is we don't have to deal with groups of enemies. We will when we get back to Dunwall. There will be many groups of enemies. So we get a nice vantage up here. There's a you can just swim to the palace. It's doable. There's not a ton of hagfish. You can also take the rails over, which is what I prefer to do, because um, nobody can really see you if you pay to have the electricity turned off. So this boat down here is very interesting and is part of the um, black market shop robbing quest. So you can go down there. You can't actually get into the boat now, and they're waiting for somebody to come pick up stuff. And then you get to the black market shop, there's the woman who owns the boat is trying to get in. You can nick her key, you come back. We won't do this all, I'm gonna just tell you because we'll do it in high chaos, but I want people to know. Um, the workers will all be killed, and there will be guards investigating the illegal wares, because the woman who owns the boat sold out. Um, so. And that happens in low chaos, too. That's not just a high chaos exclusive thing. Um, yeah, you can, like, sneak out over here if you want to take people out on And I don't think they bother you. I'm pretty sure you can just loot that crate. I don't think they give a shit. Incendiary bolts. I can't use that because we don't. But, you know, free money is nice. And we've got this dude. I feel safe. What is wrong with this city? I feel safe, he says as I rob him. Okay, there's a guard right there. Don't get robbed. So the first bone charm is gonna be right there. You can get in there, you can shoot that bolt. Um, there's just like... I told her once, I told her a thousand times. There's like some money in here. The uh, is Sometimes it worth I it? I guess purpose. we'll do that. I guess we will. Did I? So four, five, six. What did I put my... I don't even have a key in. Cause I like... Nobody's alerted. We get two dried blood fight hooks. That's like 20 coins. I don't even know if that pays for the bolt. That should pay for the bolt. Okay, so our goal is up. That's electrified though, so not that fast. Our goal is over there actually. And since we have the nice blood fly, or the, not the blood, sorry, I'm distracted by what's ahead. We have the nice charm that makes us invisible. We do the, the jumpy thing. There's a couple bodies. No, there's not. Sorry, there are bodies over there in High Chaos. Um, there are also blood flies all up the street in High Chaos. But in Low Chaos, you have this guy. Hey, you. You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here, in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. Thank you, sir. Don't steal his food, because that's kind of addicting to do. Um, okay. See you sometime. So, I don't think we can get into the building on this. You know, there's a... No, you know what? There's a... There's a pipe. We should be able to get in on this side if there's a pipe here. Oh, we can. God bless. Come on. Don't make me use my stuff. Okay, so this is an artist studio. It's very confusing. I'm not. But there's a couple of scrimshaws which are worth a decent amount. Um, like, there's a bunch of scrimshaws. There's whalebone, and then he's got a black bone charm. You have to open the vias. Void armor. Let's go see what that does. If you take damage, some portion is subtracted from mana. I personally think that's pretty neat. Um, we'll, 
Not that we really care, because actually, you know what? No, I don't even think we're gonna use that. Because we don't take a lot of damage. And I would rather, honestly, have the rune. I'm sorry. And we will definitely get enough whalebone to craft more runes. Okay, so that's the first one. Next one we're gonna go to is the actual shrine itself. Okay, so. This is the main street. See? See? I told you! You have a couple gambling down there. Pay what you owe. I'll hail the new empress. Another safe factory. This one we will have to go into to get back there. This is the oh, alley. No, no. To the black market shop and the rooms. The back entrance, which is really what we want to take. There are a number of guards patrolling this street. There is also a guard inside the safe shop threatening the man in charge. So the goal is to go in, steal the uh, passcode to the gate, go out as fast as possible before they notice us. There's no such just... permit, Captain. Exactly I know the laws. Do. Don't Darnaka. break anything. Laws Don't change. do it. The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees. Don't break when... anything. You know who else had a nice shot? Oh, you know what? We need the key. I lied. We also need the key in the cash register. Um, so we have 795. That's the code back. We really do need the key. Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the Howlers. But no one knows how the fire started. Captain, her brother died in that fire. Asleep inside, drunk from what I remember. You've got until tomorrow to pay up. Hang on, I'm just going to double check that. We need that key. Are you all right? We really need that key. We need that key for the optimal entrance to the palace. Yeah, it's nice. And also a bone charm, you'll understand. I'm just gonna wait and see what they do. Where they go. I may shadow them. We probably will end up shadowing them. Yeah, that's nice. If they're both way over there. Come on guys, make up your mind. Upstairs. Back upstairs. Good job. Thank you. apartment seizure um so there's a security matter getting to the palace they want to install they installed the wall of light and they basically forced him to give up his uh, apartment and the guard have access to the apartment at all times this is also a way to bypass the wall of light checkpoints so we will be using that you can guarantee it the real question is where did that asshole go? Oh man. We don't even need to worry because we can just go up. Where did he go? See? See? Oh. I told you! Bastard! It doesn't even matter. Okay. So, in case you missed that. This is the gate that is only open during deliveries, and the code was 795. Alright. You don't have to sneak back here. Or I assume something's off my boss's orders. 
So there's a password to the black market shop. You know I will do this. You're wasting we have the boat key. Time. We also have the combination for the gate in case we went around the other way. Um, and we need the passcode and also the boat is deliberately docked in a place where the guard has been. So that we need the password to go in this way, but we're not going to rob the store in this version. We'll rob stores in high chaos for the part of the walkthrough. Um, so this is where the shrine is going to be. Also down there is where the best and last group of musicians singing the song is. Like they each, there's an achievement for listening to the three songs. The last one's down there. So is the black market shop. So are some howlers, but it's pretty chill and low chaos. You don't have to worry about alerting enemies. Here's the shrine. We got money. We have writings about a charm carver. Um, who's been making bone charm. And black bone charms. But yeah. There's also a theme with outsider and blindness. Stilton wanting to claw his eyes out. Granny rags. Etc. Etc. And then the proclivity of the mark to sort of be blind to betrayal. Um, yes. So. They made a shrine down here. And people visit it casually, which is cool. Here you are, back among your own people. The palace born, and those who curry their favor. Are you feeling more comfortable, Majesty? Are these the people you want running a quarter of your empire? No? It never seemed to bother you before. Maybe it looks different up close. Maybe here it's harder to ignore the way the people outside the palace get through the day. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. And there you have it. If you didn't already catch that, we will use the heart to get her. And that means we're going to have to say goodbye to Jessamine. Alright. Let's go black market shopping. Alright, and then I believe the next closest one. Oh yes, Born in the Month of Darkness. We may just listen to this for a second. It's pretty good. And lore-wise, it's fantastic. Tomorrow. Want to buy one? Nah, not this time. He's off sync. Never mind. We're just gonna pickpocket. Oh, that's the wrong lyrics. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is, I think, the most floor-wise interesting song. Leads into the next game, etc., etc. Um, so basically, this is how the outsider became the outsider. Um, this is they find. Basically, he was taken in by, and a lot of people theorized correctly, a cult. Um, and there was there were references to this earlier, so it wasn't entire theory. Some of this was based in canon, like just extrapolating. Um, so they basically. Kill, ritual killing and bam, he became the void. And you can wander around down here. This is it's effectively uh -huh. dressing like that. Neutral ish zone. And now we're back at the black market shop. Welcome. Please be at ease. Our establishment is secure. And we found the final upgrade for the pistol. Um, Semi-automatic firing. Never need to reload or. The red siblings. We don't really. I wonder if we'll shit. have a visit from the new Empress Delilah. No, Kanaka that's bad. could be her summer residence. We don't want that. This is what we really want. Disable those characters. And starts and max our incendiary bolts. I think we got it maxed. We're doing pretty well on everything else. 
This oh, is what you have stuff. We for don't upgrading need your equipment. Because we don't use half the shit in my chaos. We could upgrade our... We'll keep that just in case. Because we're going to use a couple of stun mines in the next mission. And we'll use at least one in this. I guess we should... Yeah, we need more upgrades. We should upgrade our pistol. In case. At some point we'll use it a little bit. I'm not Perhaps a fan I should of close the shop until on Emily. The dust or low chaos, I prefer to be very quiet. Wow, it's it's way too it's loud of a weapon. Mountain. So, in high chaos, there's a bunch of howlers down here. And I would panic. Note the tripwire. This is a howler room. It's a bunch of howler dust. I guess we didn't need to buy the incendiary bolt. But you know what? Yeah. <laughs> and there is, in fact, yet another tripwire. And where's the other trap that goes with that? There you go. Okay. It's just like someone's little. We can't use any of this. Oh, well, actually, we can use that. And we can use the money. There is one more black market like shop in the final side. level. Which has got some old silverware and a few family portraits. Howlers. Nice stuff. It might have been cheaper to pay the tax. Yeah. <laughs> but for Gary. her, it was the principle of the matter. Okay. Um, I know in High Chaos they'll go off and fight the guards. I don't know. If, nope. I don't think they actually do in Low Chaos. There is glass if you want to drop down and take them out. I don't really like doing that. That's not my thing. Okay, so now we're basically, remember that street we crossed to get up there? We're on the other side of it. There is a central plaza type thing. There is a bone charm in there. There's a rune in here. And vaguely over there is where we want to go. That is a watchtower we don't want to deal with. We just do not. We want to stay very high. High is good. And of course... It can't really be a rune without blood flies, can it? Get your uh, sleeping stuff ready. Because there's a. Oh, fuck. There is a nest keeper in here, I know that much. I'm lazy. Come here, buddy. You know what? And, of course, this is where you find one of the two paintings. Good old Dowd. This is from That painting has been all over the damn place. I think Corvo had it. I think Dowd got it back. Now Emily's got it. This guy is like a Dowd fanboy. Um, yes, and this is about the knife of Dunwall. Um, and then this is actually about the Dowd um, missions in the DLC. So... I mean, it was already canonized, but, like, referring to that. And then, of course, 
Dowd and Billy, in case you weren't already thinking about Billy as a potential alter ego for Megan. You know, the game just sort of is like, here, have all of this to remember in case you forgot. Um, and yes, Dowd feeling regret. Raggart. That's not Dowd, by the way. That nest keeper is not Dowd, just in case you were curious. It's confirmed later, but it is most definitely not Dowd. Think you're funny? Oh, fuck. Oh, they can't get down here. Are you shitting me? They have noticed that? That's hilarious. Okay, that's our next mark. I don't even think we're gonna bother turning this off, because that just alerts people. We no we will. We don't want this. We just don't wanna have to worry about it in case we, we fall or something. We could turn off the wall of light, but we have that apartment key, so we have no need to do that. We also... Mm, no dying. We need to get into that apartment for that bone charm. I'm fairly sure this part of it is empty at least. And this is actually a note to Lucia's mom. Um, she's moved there. She didn't grow, and you have reference to it, there's a couple people who chat about how she wasn't, um, she didn't grow up there, she didn't live on the same level as everyone else. Um, she used to live in the palace district, and also she doesn't want to get married, so I'm claiming her. There's just those workers, and this is people protesting against the clockwork soldiers because they can kill people. That's creepy. Okay. Yum. Can't- I'm fairly certain no one's in this apartment. Also we get a bone charm here. Spirit water, which I'm pretty sure we're not gonna use. Yeah, drinking from a fountain restores mana. We really don't need that. We would rather have the rune. <laughs> Bath salts. I can't remember if this apartment looks different in High Chaos. I want to say y yes. Um, but... And there is more of this building you can wander around in. Let's see. That looks like a howler. Well, at the very least, it's an aristocrat. Okay, so this is. So now we turned off the lights. You can just walk in. Well, actually, you can. If you turn off that windmill up there, you can go in that way. But I prefer. Personally. There are... there is a dude. So we're gonna be extra careful about this. There we go. Okay. The art dealer's apartment. We have the key. Oh. Yeah. There is also nobody in here. Which is nice. And there's rats because there's a rat tunnel. Oh, you don't even need a. You don't even need the key. We have the key. We're gonna. Swoosh straight in. That's how you get to the palace. We're gonna do a couple other things. Like five whole bath salts. This is the pillow that's destroyable. Ah, this is what we wanted. Sorry. It's on New Gleam Plus that you can consume all of Palo. Um, this will make pretty much all rat swarms white rats. So if you knock Palo out or kill Palo the first time, um, and you have that and Gutter Feast equipped, 
man, you can just consume his entire existence. Okay, so, safe. Dumbass. Safe. Dumbass. Also go to the palace on this door. That's the door to get in. And I'm pretty sure we got everything. So I will see you guys next time on the approach to the Grand Palace.